Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. This is going to be a quick in-depth analysis of whether you guys should go for the bank or for the BIA in BTD battles. And yeah, this is just going to kind of be like a money analysis here and what's better late game, early game, all that good jazz. So the income, we're going to start by talking about the income of both and then we're going to compare the profit. So income of the BIA, the BIA is going to give you 80 eco each round. It's going to give you $1,560 each round and it's going to give you 20% interest on the current funds in the bank at the end of each round. So basically, however much money you have, you're going to get 20% of that extra at the end of each round with a maximum of 20K in the storage of the bank. The 1-4 BIA is kind of what we're looking at here. It has been proven to be the most efficient. So, uh, how much is this 80 eco each round worth in money? So, if we actually go here and we see that uh, every time you send a set of pink balloons, you're going to get 3.6 eco. Each pink balloon costs, or each set of pink balloon costs $90 to send. So, if we look here, uh, how many sets of pink balloons would you have to send? 22.2. Uh, this many sets times $90 each is $2,000. So it's really giving you $2,000 worth of eco every single round, which is really, really good. Uh, so we're going to be looking at in the bank and then the total money that you're going to get with eco. So uh, in the bank on one round, you're going to get... If you get up the bank as soon as the round starts, you're going to get $1,872. After two rounds, you're going to get $4,118. After three rounds, you're going to get $6,813. Four rounds, $10,000. After five rounds, $13,000. After six rounds, $18,000. And after seven rounds, $20,000, which it will max out at. And you guys can check my math right here. Uh, the total money, though, that you're going to be getting with Eco after one round is 3872 After two rounds, it's 8118 All the way to after seven rounds is 34000 But this isn't real money. This isn't money that you can directly go ahead. I got this money seven rounds. I can spend $34,000 and stuff. Because A, this is money with Eco, And B, this is money that you can't spend in these beginning rounds until you collect from the bank. And then you can't even send balloons until this money is going to come back to you so if you play passively all this money is going to be used to be getting more money if you play offensively or if you don't play passively and you start sending the other opponents in a lot this money does not mean that much um but on the factory for the other hand it will so each round the factory is going to give you six crates each crate is worth nine hundred dollars uh, basically meaning the factory is always going to give you $5,400 each round, which you can go and directly spend on whatever you want, not going to hurt the profits you're going to get in the next round. So let's look at a comparison of income, then we're going to look at a comparison of profits. After one round, the factory is going to give you $5,400, and as you can see, the factory is still going to be giving you more money until you have to collect the BIA, in which the BIA profits are going to reset, and the factory money you can spend on whatever you want. But the factory is a lot more expensive than the BIA. We can look right here and we can see that if you look at the actual profits you're getting, after one round you're still 19000 in debt, with compared to the BIA where you're only $10,000 in debt. And the BIA gets out of debt faster at four rounds while you're still losing money until five rounds with the factory in which you've only made a little bit of money. Uh, and the BIA is still going to be giving you a lot more money for its cost later on, meaning you can get a BIA and with the same amount of money, you can also get a banana plantation on the side or something like that, right? And the BIA is just going to be giving you so much more profits over time here uh, compared to the factory, which it's so expensive that, yeah, while it's giving you more money and better money than the BIA, it's going to be... Uh, ju it's just not going to be as efficient for its price. So let's let's look at these conclusions here. If you can pull off a BIA, it's 100% worth it. You're making a lot more money for the price you're spending on the BIA. If you cannot send anything, play passive, and the opponent doesn't force you to collect from the BIA, you are making money. The BIA is 100% the play. So basically, if you're on a late game map like Dreadbloom Cave, it's going to be a lot better to go for that BIA just because you're going to be able to get that more money later, right? But if you're on a really short map, you don't want to go for the BIA because the opponent's going to send you a BFB and you're going to have to collect the money from the BIA in order to defend that BFB, right? And because it's a lot harder to defend on shorter maps than it is on longer maps. Meaning if you have to collect from it, the factory is just going to be the play. And if you can't get the factory, start by going for the Republic or something like that, of course. Uh, but if you're able to play passive, if you're able to blow a game, if you're able to not send anything and not have to collect... BIA is 100% the place. So I hope this helped. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.